Amy here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for Christmas. I'm going to give the same disclaimer that everybody does. I'm not trying to brag. I myself love watching these videos, even though I kind of started making my way to becoming an eco minimalist. I still do love like haul videos and what I got for Christmas, so um, I also like looking back on these. I actually watched mine from last year and two years ago this year. And so I'm not trying to brag and I also want to make an eco-minimalist claim to anybody that says that I got presents but I tell everybody not to. This year what I try to do is I do love getting gifts, I will say that. And also I love spending time with my family and I think they like getting me gifts, I don't know, that might be a little spoiled to sound. But this year I tried to be a little more eco-friendly with my gifts and I made a list for my entire family that was getting me gifts of things that I wanted. Of course my family went off the list a little bit, but I love the gifts so much. I love all of my gifts. I also asked for more eco-friendly things that can get involved in my life for Christmas. So that is what's going on and now I will get into it. Hold on, let me fix the zoom real quick. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is actually kind of expensive, but I absolutely love it and I'm so grateful that I got these. And they are some jewelry. These are both from my uncle. And I got a necklace which has a real pearl on it, and I love it. Pearl is actually my birthstone, and I it's also just a pretty stone, so... I love it and it's just one singular pearl and I'm wearing it today. And my uncle has actually had it since I was kind of a baby, so he decided to give it to me this year. And another thing that he got new this year were some earrings and they are so pretty. They are diamond earrings and I love them. They're so beautiful and they came in this beautiful case but I have them in my ears right now and I love them. Next I'm going to show you a gift that my brother got me. I got my brother a gift this year and so he wanted to get me a gift this year and so he got me this mint juleps lush lip scrub. That's a long name. <laughs> So this mint scrub is from Lush and it is amazing. It smells like mint. Well, it's mint chocolate. It smells like Thin Mints and it tastes like Thin Mints, the Girl Scout cookie. And I wanted this. This was on my list and it is so good. So a lip scrub makes your lips smoother and you rub it. With this one, you rub it on and you can eat it. You can lick it off your lips after you rub it on. Next thing that I got, these are two things from my grandma that were on my list and one of them were toothpaste tabs. I know it's such a weird gift to get, but these are the Hello Naturally Friendly Toothpaste Tabs. They're anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste tablets and they are just little tablets and you what you do is you bite down on them and then you make like a paste with your saliva I know it sounds kind of gross but that's how it's done and then you brush with your toothbrush like normal and they can come in plastic free packaging and they're a lot more travel friendly so that you don't have to take a liquid with you. The packaging for these are actually reusable because it comes in an aluminum container. The next thing that I got is another eco-friendly gift and it is from Wowie and it is a safety razor. Now I know some of you might think this is gross but I do shave my legs and my armpits. It's so funny to me that society makes mostly girls, but some guys, think that they need to shave and society makes them shave or want to shave. And then when they talk about it, society thinks it's gross. Isn't that just really funny? It is to me. So I'm going to talk about it. And I do shave, and if you don't shave, that is actually more power to you. So I got this eco-friendly razor, and I know this is also kind of a weird Christmas gift. And it is a safety razor made out of bamboo and stainless steel. And this is more eco-friendly because 
it lasts so much longer. Obviously, it's also made out of steel, uh, not steel. S uh, what is this made out of? This is made out of metal and stainless steel, metal and bamboo instead of plastic. And this is not really a disposable razor, as you would say. It is, it is, I think it's recyclable, but it lasts for like, I don't know even how many years, while a disposable plastic razor only lasts for like a couple to a few months. And the reason it lasts so long is because you have blades and you put a new blade in every time another one gets dull and it's a and the blades are a lot sharper and they cut a lot nicer than a disposable razor and there's also only one blade so it doesn't irritate your skin as much as a razor with like two or three blades stacked on each other going over the same spot over and over again it is a lot sharper so it cuts the hairs better, but you also have to be a lot more careful, and it's very heavy as well. But I'm really excited to use this and try it out. Hopefully I don't cut myself. The next thing that I got is from my grandma. I'll show you a few things that I got from my grandma. And these are bath bombs, and they come in a little like snowman packaging, and they're really cute. They're just white, and they are vanilla snow bath bombs. And I'm really excited to use them. I didn't take a bath today, but next time I take a bath, I am 100% going to use these. The next thing I got from my grandma are, of course, everybody, every Christmas I feel like somebody has to get some kind of like sock or underwear or something. And this year I got fuzzy socks and they are so thick and they are gray and white and they have a little puff ball on it and I think my cats actually might like that when I'm walking around in them. The next thing that I got, I only got two articles of clothing, uh, which was this and then and the shirt I'm wearing right now. But this shirt is a white shirt with uh, black fuzz on it because I put it under this and didn't realize that this would rub off on it. So this is a white shirt that says women are incredible and I think that women are incredible. They have to go through so much. They have to deal with periods and pregnancy and so many things and they're just like very complicated beings and they are very incredible and I think that every woman should be proud of herself and love herself obviously. You are amazing if you are a woman, also if you are a man. But you are incredible if you are a woman. And it's white and it just says pink. And this is actually from, if you guys know the YouTuber Colleen Ballinger, her sister and her brother also have a YouTube channel, Rachel Ballinger and the Ballinger family. And this is from Colleen Ballinger and it is her merch. And I actually love that because I, I watch her too and I thought this was something that I, I would actually wear. Usually I wouldn't wear YouTubers merchandise because it has their name all over it, but just women are incredible. I believe this. And so seeing this, I thought, wow, that's really cool and I love it. Next from my grandma are a few cat themed things. Actually, the last things here are all cat themed, which I'm so happy about. Oh wait, no. No, 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 no. I am happy about the cat themed things, but another thing, this is from my other uncle, Uncle Jim, and the jewelry is from my Uncle Philip, and this is a shirt that says Anti-Animal Cruelty Club, kind of like Anti-Social Club, but it's Anti-Animal Cruelty Club, and I love it, and on the back it says that too in big letters, and it's just black, and it's amazing, and I am totally in the anti-animal cruelty club, you guys know. This year I really tapped into my inner minimalist, eco-friendly person, and I only use cruelty-free cosmetics. Now on to the cat things. So the first thing that I got that is related to cats is a book, and I don't read really. But this book is incredible and I've already started reading it and it is called Why Does My Cat Do That? Answers to the 50 questions cat lovers ask. <laughs> so it's a book about kitties and it is just like, it asks a bunch of these questions and it explains why your cat does that. And I've already read so many things that my cats do and I've learned a lot actually and I love this. This is definitely going to come in handy. The next thing is a picture that I'm going to put on my dresser. I already have a space for it and I'm staring right at it. And it is a picture 
And the picture frame says, all you need is love and a cat. And the picture is of me at a cat cafe with my cat mask on, taking a selfie with a cat that I met there. It was a kitten like that big and its name and his name was Tofu and I really want to go back again and visit him and it is a picture of me and him that I took and I love it. The next thing that is cat themed is this little kit that lets me crochet my own kittens. So I don't know how to cro crochet but there's a little book that teaches me in here and then some yarn to make the kittens on the box and it's enough for two kittens and I am going to attempt to do this it might not turn out because I don't know how to crochet but if it does I'm really excited because this is going to be adorable oh my god and if it turns out I am going to put it like right here right on my dresser as well in front of this oh I can picture it and the last and final thing I got for Christmas from my parents is a calendar, custom calendar of my cats. And it says, time spent with a cat is never wasted, a, perf a perfect year in 2021. And it's a 2021 calendar and on the front is me and my cat stash. My mom loved that picture so she decided to put it on the front. And look at that. It's my puppy! Oh my goodness! And on my vlog of Christmas Eve and Christmas, which will either be coming out or already out, so make sure to watch that. In my vlog, I showed all of the months, so make sure to watch that if you want to see all of the months. But I just gave you a sneak peek of January of my belly. And if you did not know, which you probably do. I am absolutely obsessed with cats. They are my favorite animal, of course, and I love them so much. I have two of my own, Stash and Cheeto, and I always annoy my family with telling them how cute they are, how fluffy, how fuzzy, and they are just the perfect cats, and they're just adorable. I can't think of a better animal. Sorry, dog lovers. So that is all of my Christmas presents. I love them all so much and I got everything on my Christmas wish list and more. And I want to just give a huge thank you to my entire family and my friends that also gave me some gifts. I love all of my gifts and they are so incredible. And thank you for watching and make sure to give it a big, the video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I think another vlog will be coming out after my Christmas vlog, which is of me going to Sequoia National Park or something, <laughs> and seeing some sequoia trees and walking around in snow, so make sure to stay tuned for that, probably in January. So either this video or my vlog is going to be the last video of this year on my channel. So thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe. That would be amazing. That would make me so happy. A great way to bring on the new year. And Merry Christmas to anyone who celebrates it. And Happy Holidays and Happy New Year's to everyone. And I will see you guys in 2021. Bye!